Plus a nigga big shit Big shit, big shit, big shit huh. Name another podcast like this Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's yeah, going on? Nothing, nothing. Say, going. man, hey, hey, another day, another dollar. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's going down, man. So we got a guy here today, man, a uh, special guy. A guy who really, you know what I'm saying, he, he really impressed me with what I've seen, you know, because I know hard work is something else. And when you do something extraordinary and other people are not able to accomplish it, man, it do something to me. You got to push. Man, we got C. James. C. James in the building, man. What's going on, senior? What's good? What's good? Man, C. James, man, you're a breath of fresh air, man. I know I worried you talking to you on the phone crazy, but it's all good. Nah, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I just, I, I was excited when you sent me the clip, man, you know, of the movie, man. Nice Guys Finish Last. Yes, Nice man. Guys Finish Last. Man, how did you, okay, I, 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 I we I gotta get say, into whenever it. he sent me the clip, because I'm hard on, because I watch every and any movie, Yes, right? you're a movie fanatic. But, the first thing came to my mind is like the acting is really good it <laughs> wasn't you. no fake I call it fake acting because yeah. some people will act and I'm like no that emotion the facial expression the no mm -mm, uh -uh. <laughs> I still watch it depends on you know what it is but I'm like yours just look like it needs to be on the big screen somewhere that's what it looks like man the quality is awesome. Let's right. go back. Uh, uh, who, let's, let's start it start from start. Time. Who is C. James Sr.? Who is who is he? From back in the days, from two, three, four, five, six, coming like, up. Like, who, uh, who is C. James? We can go Who back. is he? Like, who is this guy? <laughs> single mom, dad. Yeah, definitely single mom, um, low income. Yeah. Grew up grew up in the hood, uh, literally right where they filmed Game Banging in Little Rock. Mm. All those cats that y'all seen on that documentary on HBO. Grew That's up real. and knew a lot of them. Um, not too far from Little Rock Central High School, which is uh, where I graduated from. Um, I had the opportunity to, to play some football. Okay. That's what kept me out of a lot of the, the trouble, troubles and streets. And um, a lot of times I like to tell people um, I'm more like a Tupac when it comes to that type of stuff. Like he always used to say, he tried to get in the streets, but the older cats would be like, nah, bro. It's not for you. We see something in you, like you need That's to be good. doing something else. That's so, good. But you know, sometimes we still gotta bump our heads, you know. Yeah. And although your dad there. wasn't there, did you ever build a relationship with him? Did you ever know him? Yeah, 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 yeah. I always say, and, and this is the crazy thing about it too with that, like, um, people always make it seem like, uh, oh man, was you mad at him? No, I was never mad at him, ever. Like I just, I've always, from a young age, just kind of been like independent. Like I, I never like you can't miss something that wasn't there. If mm. that makes sense. But he came around all the time. Okay. It wasn't to see us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he, I mean? at least he showed up. Yeah, right. He, he came around. He did a little something. It could have been worse because a lot of people don't even never met their father. Don't know what he looks like. Anything about him? Yeah. He and, and exactly. He, he right. a cool cat. You know. I can't say uh, he didn't do nothing. He did a little something. He came around. I knew who he is. I know my family, and um, he, he, you know, he, 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 I, he, he, a good dude, like, yeah, you know. Right. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he, hey, we, we all here, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never if been it, mad if at it, him. If it wasn't yeah. for him, you wouldn't be here. Yeah, right, that's true. Right. That's and true. that's the thing and, that 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 you have to you have to acknowledge that. My dad had his faults, man. Facts. I mean, he was abusive. If he was there, he may have got what I got. And some yeah. of that, you know, I can't take it back. But at the end of the day, I went through some things that. Okay, having a daddy, I was like, damn, I, if this is a dad, I, you know, at some points yeah. in your mind, you, you tackle with that, but, you know, you do a tug of war with it. But yeah. mm -hmm. definitely I understand that having a father in the home is important. Yeah. But having the, the, the right attitude with the right father with that's been conditioned correctly to have a right father, that's a whole nother level. And it's Facts. not even just the right <laughs> father, it's the right male role model so because some people didn't have the father figure in their or a father in their life but they yeah. had a father figure Thanks. who you know uh, helped them in their growth in yeah. man to manhood so I, I i always say the hood literally raised me like i uh, hear that a lot yeah literally like <laughs> that's what i say like i'm out here trying to do this like nah you you don't need to do right. that or then you know it was some people that was like yeah we'll let you know go and get you some weed you know go mm -hmm. and do this so and so so and so but um like I say, football, 
really kind of steered me away from a lot of this stuff. I chose not to partake in a lot of things because I I, I was really good at it. Really you liked football. What, what position like did you play? You look like a running back. I played running back. Yeah, yeah. You look like you run the running back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to give tell. it to it, man. How can what you, you look? What you run by the fo fo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the man. Yeah. <laughs> How can yeah, you look at somebody dash. and tell yeah, what well, position? Because you can tell because yeah. we, I was, I'm the same way he is. You yeah. short. You ain't really just a big tall guy because they put you on the line or put you at receiver or something if you're yeah. fat. So, you you know. But I, oh, okay. I ain't no switching to D-back, though. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You could do D-back. I yeah. did that, too. Yeah. That, that's that's kind of your statue. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I don't know. I was just asking. I was yeah. curious. Yeah, yeah. You from Jamaica. Y'all call football and soccer, <laughs> soccer, football. It's you know what football. I mean? Football. <laughs> no, yeah. you don't say it like that. No, 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 no. How do they say it? Just football. Oh, whatever. You say nah, football, we but, it right. no, but football, like what y'all do, we call it rugby. Rugby. Because okay. that's what the English does. The, you know, it's br- they, rugby. They don't have helmets and pads, though. They sure don't. Yeah. It ain't the same. It, ain't the this, same. it just this, looks different. It it the, rock, the, the helmet and the pads, it yeah. looks different. Yeah. Well, it's just America. Yeah. And I ain't trying to trip. I ain't capping. Yeah, it. you're yeah. right. There's <laughs> you know a, a lot of things. It's just America. Yeah, yeah, well, it's just a place to you know the where you need to come whenever you want to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I'll yeah. let your boy see you, Nico. <laughs> I won't say anything. <laughs> CJ, see, yeah. let me get out of trouble right quick. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, so when, when you uh, coming up, you know, you running that ball. You know, you run up in there and one of them linebackers hit you. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was you quick on your feet or was you? Yeah, I, I never got hit hard. And I've been playing. I've, I played football. Ball from like age eight all the way up to about 25, 26. So you did through college? Yeah. They couldn't okay. angle you. They didn't know. I, I never, I never took a hard hit. And I'm, I've never broken anything, never torn anything my whole life. Blessed. Yeah. And I, like I said, when I think about that from age eight all the way up to wow, 25, 26. you were blessed. Blessed. So what, what happened to, to, to detour you from that, from, from football? From, um, honestly. Didn't get drafted. Well, no, I always had the mindset that I was more than just a football player. Yeah, yeah. So if I was going to make it in the league, I was going to be like Jim Brown. Yeah. Okay. See me on the TV screen, got multiple business, doing mm-hmm. stuff like Correct. that. So um, I always saw myself as more than just that. So did the movies or did the acting pull you away from that? Um, honestly, as I got older, I just didn't have the same motivation, the same motivation because I, I started realizing the politics going into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then going up in, a, that's what I was going to get to, going up in a single parent home, not having um, the right people around you. You have to figure things out on your oh, own. Yeah. So it was hard navigating that. You know, um, just something as simple as filling out your financial aid. Mm-hmm. Mama, fill this out. I don't know what to do with that. Don't worry about it, Mama. I figured out. I got it. I've been feeling that ever since. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Um, going to uh, going to the college and, and um, getting ready to enroll. Oh, you need two hundred dollars for your dorm deposit. I just I'm a high school student. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah Mama, yeah. can I get two hundred dollars? I ain't got. Oh, it. I ain't got no two hundred dollars. Ah, bet. Don't I worry about it. Get it. So that's what I'm saying. I always everything I got. Bet, don't worry about it, Mama. I got it. So you got it out the I'm mud. a husband. I got it out the mud. At least you gave her the opportunity. You always went to her and asked her first. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, but I didn't know. You know, I didn't. I didn't know. That's like I say. You got the right people around. You got a father figure who actually have been to college or a mom have been to college. They can teach you. Like you need to. You need to take your ACT. You need to be prepared to do this and do that. I didn't know nothing. So I'm like, oh, I didn't know I have to pay a deposit for this. You know. So I didn't know. So all of that prepared me for, for where I'm at now. So I'm not scared to All get out there. That's why I love the internet right now because honestly, you, <laughs> parents don't really have Facts. to know. Because honest, you have some kids who are first generation college students, so parents still don't know. Exactly. And you can always say, let's go research it together or exactly. you go look it up. And you know, these kids are very self-motivated where like, our daughter, yeah. she'll go online and figure everything out and say, mommy, just sign right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got in mommy, yep. sign right here. And I'm like, no, I gotta read this and see what you what you let me That's sign. That's what I say all the time. Mm-hmm. I say I'm jealous of that we didn't have Google. Exactly. You yeah. know, I, I couldn't, like I say, we had the encyclopedia, but you gotta get a ride to the library. <laughs> they close at a certain time. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was bad. Just think about that. Yeah, you, I'm older than that. Yeah. I, I mean, you had to get go to the phone booth. You didn't have a cell phone. Mm-hmm. I can, there I can you remember go. that. Same, remember them I, phone I books? That too. Them phone books. Or the rotary phones the, the that rotary go. Phones, yeah. All of that stuff Party is, line is advancements that we, we, we have. And, and, some and these kids, kids don't know it. Because they, they don't know it. They don't know it. No, they don't know it. And I always tell the because I work with kids too. Now, I tell them, I say, there's no excuse now. I was like, you can literally ask Siri or go to Google and say, how do you do this and it's gonna give you the instructions on how to do that i've never had that opportunity up until here recently as i got older so i was like all this stuff i'm i did i had to figure it out get and Mm -hmm. sometimes you gotta fail you know but even just the way how these kids think because even if they didn't go and research something and you're stuck where technology is concerned you say hey um i'm stuck here how do you think i should go by doing this they'll just come off the head with something and you're like oh that makes sense you know And I'm like, it's just the way how they think nowadays yeah. compared to how we think from back then. Right. Mm-hmm. So what did you go to college for? Business administration. Uh, I, I not got even my, the movie. Not, not even, even the movie. So okay. that's, like I say, <laughs> I, I always knew I was going to be a business minded person. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm, I'm a major in business. Um, got, I actually got four degrees. I got a uh, uh, bachelor's in business administration. I got a master's in business administration. And then I got a associate's in the African-American male leadership. Christian leadership, I'm sorry, and then Associates of Business Administration. So um, I, I graduated from uh, a little small HBCU in Little Rock, mm-hmm. which is crazy because um, it's not too far from where I grew up at, wow. uh, Arkansas Baptist College. And there we actually talked about, uh, it's crazy how this police brutality stuff, this is in 2007, eight, how we were talking about how uh, we need uh, community, community policing. And um, we actually uh, help um, bring in a program called the OK program, where they specifically work with black males. Wow. Yeah, and uh, well, police officers, black police officers, only work with only black males. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. yeah. Look alike. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So we 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 actually uh, work with that program. So we I've been on this this a lot of people. Arkansas is really good with um, stuff like because we had we had. Um, What's his name? Oh my God! I'm see Ark uh, Ark Inspire, uh, Archivius. Archivius Armstrong. He's from um, Arkansas, no, isn't he? No, he's from North Carolina. North Carolina. The other Carolina. guy that we had from Arkansas okay. was um, uh, the young guy that came down and was he he went to prison up upstate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who was from Arkansas. Okay. But Archivius was dope. He flew in from North Carolina. No, but was, what I was get, uh, trying to allude to is that a lot of these smaller towns or these towns have um, resources for young black men, like yeah. programs, and I love that. Yeah. And I really feel that they need to do a lot more of that here in Texas. Yeah, yeah. definitely, man. Um, anytime we can help, but it starts with us in the community. Thanks. You know, if we, we we see a little boy in the neighborhood like C James, not just C James. Period, not senior, because yeah. he wasn't senior at that time, right? Right, right. So CJ walk out the door, and I'm, I, you know, I'm in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. CJ don't have a father. I know that. Yeah. Black men, we know that that we came through a lot of impoverished times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We know that we came through a lot of things like slavery and all type of stuff that where we didn't get reparations counseling or anything like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we have to grab one another and consult with our younger children that's walking around these neighborhoods. Right. If we don't do that, then we, we don't definitely don't need to be talking about them. Right. He don't pull his pants up. Do you see how they act? I hate when people do that. Facts. Because they're not talking to them, but talking about, about them, them, and it right. doesn't help anything. Right. So I, I don't even like those conversations. And and that's another thing, too. That's what I always say. You don't have to always, like, all you have to do is plant a seed. Yes. And sometimes, I know a lot of us can be hard-headed at a young age, but like I say, all it takes is a conversation. That's sometimes, it. even if you're just talking at us, mm-hmm. we hear some of it, mm-hmm. some Correct. of it. Correct. And some of it going to stick, mm-hmm. you know, so... You see him, hey, young man, man, keep doing what you're doing. That's good. You know, motivate them. So, mm-hmm. you know, don't, don't, don't talk about them. Talk stuff like that, mm-hmm. but not to get too far off subject. So I've always kind of been in the arts and I, I want to kind of tell stories. Um, I started modeling um, like around 2007, taking pictures and stuff like that. Then that pulled me into acting. I did a stage play. Then I started doing commercials. Then I did and some movies. how old movies. were you at that time? 20, 21. Okay. Um, How hard it is to get into the modeling industry 
it's and hard how hard it in is Little to Rock, get Arkansas. To, I mean, yeah, you you didn't go out out of you Little Rock. I did all this in Little Rock. Oh, that's dope. That's and that's crazy. another thing. People are like, you got a good resume for yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because people would think that you have to get out of small towns to get into the big city to get exposure. How did you get, how did you get that exposure? Um taking pictures, playing around and then um So the internet helped you. The right? internet, MySpace, yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Um and I remember um Oh, I'm not gonna name drop people, but I, it's been photographers that are huge right now. They were reaching out to me like in 2007, trying to get me to take pictures, and this was back then. It was free, you know wow. what I'm saying, stuff like yeah. that. So now they charging two, three thousand dollars. I'm like, yeah. it's crazy stuff yeah. like that. I but, met uh, who was that? Tyson mm-hmm. Beckford. Beckford. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was like my idol. Like yeah, I, I met place. him in Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah I dumped on him. You know, I was on what <laughs> floor? I was on the fifty fourth floor. He's yeah. like, I'm on the eighteenth. I said, Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he, we had a crew. We always have a, we move like a unit, mm-hmm. huh? Yeah. But, but like, who is those people? <laughs> but that's good though that you did modeling because when I think about modeling, um, back then, yeah, it's a case where you had to be tall. Back then, Bags. you know, yeah. nowadays yeah. they have so many different kinds of models. Yeah. Back then, it was it was people just mainly concentrating on runway model, yeah. you know, certain type of models. Now mm-hmm. you have hair model, nail model, um, Instagram model, right. this model. So height don't really have I that much. I feel like I was one of the first Instagram models. I feel really? like that's what yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, okay. like we we did a calendar, and it, that thing kind of was, was like it a viral little, a little bit. Yeah, I, I had a couple pictures go viral. Um, but like I say, this was before, you know, it was considered a uh, call viral, you know, before there was, you know, uh, Instagram and Facebook. That's it favor, was just, man. God just give Facebook. you favor, man. Yeah. That's favor from God. Man. Yeah. See, yeah. My, my next question about modeling is so crazy because I'm thinking about back then. I'm not thinking about now. Right. But back then when male models became a thing. Right. I know a lot of people were thinking that, um, oh no, he's gay. I, I already knew you were going to say that. I'm psychic like a motherfucker. Like, like, I knew you Because so, I'm going back to back in the days when yeah. I know Tyson they wasn't. were, but people were looking at them like. Even to this day, they still, you know, stereotype, stereotype and say that about him. So but, how um, does that, you know. I mean, at the end of the day. Did I you know, get that a lot? So, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. But, you know, people whisper and say stuff. But, mm-hmm. like, I, I do remember guys kind of looking like, ah, do you and your, uh, on, a, on the internet and your draws. But now I see everybody doing it, right. you know, stuff like that. But, um, I don't know, I've always been my own person. And, like I said, I, I got it out the mud. You can't, I don't care about what people think or say about mm-hmm. me. I mean, it, it do, I hear it and I be like, what? Just leave your girl around me, though. <laughs> Already, that's it. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you think, and that. if you really want to know, just ask somebody. That's all I'm saying. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it. I like, I like, I like so, it. Yeah, I'm at your, yeah. I'm at your throat. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? And then, and like I said, I've been off the porch. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. The, the most of you niggas is that's talking like that. I remember you had all the Nintendo games, all the yeah, Jordans yeah. in the school. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your mama told you you couldn't play with me when I was little. So yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 Like yeah. I was a little bit. Yeah, you know, I, was, I was out there in the in the, the, the streets, in the streets, the yeah. streets, yeah. Raised me. I didn't yeah. be in the streets and for them to raise yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So finish your story because you haven't gotten to the film part yet. So yeah, so like I said, I went from stage plays to okay. uh, doing commercials to uh, movies. And then I got to a point to where okay, I wanna I wanna tell my I wanna do a movie because I've always looked at that type. So of you've stuff. been in some movies before. I have. Which one? Um, that's this was filmed in Arkansas. It was um, it was a film called Greater. I was. Uh, was that the, your first film? Actually, it wasn't. My first film was called. Um, I knew Ooh. this guy looks experienced. Nah. <laughs> He's doing too damn good on that. show. I was about to say yeah, because how many films did you have to go through before you? It became this good. Um, it's not. It, it hasn't been a lot though. He's like, man. Nah, I, I mean, I honestly, and people ask me where I get my training from. I always yeah. say elementary school. Yeah, I get it because you feel like that's where it yeah developed. That's where most. it developed elementary school. Like that's where it came from. But my first movie was like in 07. Um, a small yeah. part. No, nah, I was a lead character actually. Really? Yeah, I was a lead character. For first one. Okay. Yeah, awesome. It was Freedom. That's the name of it. It's Freedom. Okay. Um, so I can look it up and I can find it? No, you can't. Like 
Man, it was a bunch of stuff went wrong with the post. Yeah. You know but how it go. You know what it is, okay. the post. God, God okay. the one that, yeah, 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 yeah. listen, that was your training, man. Yeah, That's training, thanks. man. I love God, man. Yeah. You don't even know what you're doing. Yeah. But God already got a plan. I keep saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think you know, you don't know. You walking into purpose and don't even realize how, what you don't you're doing. Know what the end you don't know, but God has a plan for exactly. you. Exactly. Right? So right. you just kind of channeling that in and you say, well, I'm going to go over here. God said you was going to go over there. You had to learn oh, yeah. that. You had to learn <laughs> to move on. Exactly. Man, I like that, man. Mm-hmm. So, so okay. Did you finish with your... Okay, so I, I did that. And like I said, I did... It was another movie that was kind of big with a big budget they shot in Arkansas. Like I said, it was called Greater. It's based on... Uh, Brandon, Bur- Brandon Burlesworth and I was kind of like an extra on that and then uh, uh, I was an extra in God is not dead too. Oh really? Yeah. Two. I see two. that. I need, were you sitting in the classroom or something like that? <laughs> uh, honestly so I, by this time I had my own agency in, in Little Rock. Mm-hmm. Um, I was called to. Uh, did they film it there? They did. I didn't know that because did. I watched part. We watched part, part, part two one, one, part two. There's and a three too. That's a three too. Yeah, we watched mm-hmm. all three. So the producers are from Arkansas. So. Oh really? I didn't know yeah. that. Oh, that's dope. Um, but you were only in two. I was only in two. Uh, with with that one, uh, my agent called and said, "Hey, you got booked to uh, be a reporter." So I was supposed to be a reporter when when we got but there. You weren't. Well, we they changed. Well, they noticed. Well, we had like real deal news cameras. Mm-hmm. You know, them things probably. 30 pounds mm-hmm. and he was like just so happened that the other person that we casted like the, the they were women it was like it's just not cool for us to have women carrying around those right. yeah, yeah, so yeah. I if I if I am seeing it, it's a camera over <laughs> I like this <laughs> they don't so. really get to see you <laughs> yeah yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No. Yeah. But that was God again. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. basically preparing you for what you're about to face. Yeah. But we about to get to it, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice guys finish last. Nice guys finish last. I wanna I wanna get into that thing, man. I, I really love the way the uh the way it, it looks, man. I, I, I wanna understand how you came up with your own way of doing things. Well And you wrote it too. Well, so that I don't say that that how brought you, me to I wanted yeah. to tell my own stories, right? Yeah, okay. So my little league football coach, he he had he played a major role in my life, but until this day, he's still coaching to this day. But okay. he he coached. I don't know if you remember Keith Jackson. He played for the Eagles, the Packers, tight end. I think he I, from Little Rock, Rock yeah, so yeah, yeah, Super Bowl yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he University of Oklahoma, t- tight end. Okay. Um, he coached him as a as a kid. He still coaches to this day. So t- this year is a 50th an- anniversary. Mm. So I wanted to tell a story. I did a documentary. So I, I wrote, produced, and, and uh, did a documentary on him. So that was my first film. Mm. And that was, a, it was well, it's considered a feature. It's over over 40 minutes. Wow. Okay. Um, so I did that documentary. That's on my website, Into the Sunset Productions. Um, uh, dot com. But he's a Vietnam War vet. I wanted to kind of tell that story, how he got two Purple Hearts, some pe- presidential citations, um, a silver star and a bronze star, mm-hmm. and now he came back to to uh, not from, from just serving this country to serve his community for the wow. next fifty years. Dope. Beat cancer twice. Wow. And everything. So that's worth telling. Yeah, yeah. So I, I so after I shot that documentary, I was like, that's not enough. After talking to one of my friends, I wrote a script. So I wasn't afraid to um, get in and learn how to write scripts. So I started doing my research, Google, YouTube, and all of that. Um, using my, utilizing my resources, asking people what's the best software. So I ended up uh, probably going into negative to buy the software. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, that software ain't cheap. Yeah, so uh, I, I I went about the software and just started writing, and that's I just wrote the uh, script, and then I noticed that uh, after I finished the script, I got people to read it. People was like, "It's a good story. It's good," and then I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna try to get a shot." That's like I couldn't. It's hard when you start now. Like you can't just well, just walk in. How hard is it to find actresses and actors to well do casting and stuff? When I wrote it, I didn't. I initially was like, I'm just gonna write it, like, and then pass it off to somebody. Let them to shoot it. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, one of my mentors though, he 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 was like, man, you should shoot it yourself. I'm like, man, this I got this an army vet we got tanks and stuff because he how he got one is uh his silver star he um like the the tank driver uh got basically got blinded by explosion Mm -hmm. and they were like stuck on the other side and the enemy was shooting and they was like we gotta get the tank before the enemy get there and go save them 
He was like, I'll go do it. And he jumped up and took out running while they wow. shooting. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, <that laughs> jumped to the tank and drove the tank back. Wow. You know, so I'm, I'm like, 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 like I said, I was like, I don't have the money to no tell it. Tank. To I don't have no damn tank. <laughs> damn, I'm going to get the tank from. <laughs> I'm like, that's going to be me. Like, I don't got that type of money. So I was like, I can't Can't go that. somewhere and just rent a tank and be like, I'm going to use this Niggas tank. ain't got no tanks <laughs> everywhere. Niggas in the hood got a truck. Right, right. <laughs> You you probably go to the base and probably pay a yeah. couple hundred thousand. To, oh, to do hundred something. thousand dollars! That's right. <laughs> and what year was this? I wrote it in like four, like sixteen, something like that. Sixteen. You 17. knew me. I could have got you a tank. <laughs> I'm not playing. I know yeah. who got a tank. Oh, for real? Yeah, and he bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, remember, we sold purses over at their shop at Broadband. They bought all kind of army oh. equipment, all the yeah. old stuff. And he didn't know what to do with himself. He just yeah. got a lot of money buying stuff. So that was, but you didn't know your boy. Then I I'd have got that boy tanked to Arkansas. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Imagine seeing that on the road going, you have to like, you gotta put it on a, You got to put it on a yeah, trailer. Yeah. But yeah, so what happened with that? So I, I still have the script to this day, and it, I never was able to get do anybody anything. to look at it or try to, you know, wow. do anything with it. So. Again, um, that's God. Exactly. I'm cold with it. There'd I see everything is place. happening. There's a time and place for everything, and it will get out there sooner or later. Right. Just hold on to it. That's yeah. exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. So I was like, okay, the next script I write, I'm going to shoot it myself. Okay. That's how this So came along. that's how Nice Guys Finish Last came along. Wow. And where did you get the inspiration for to write this? Okay. So. Um, Were you I, the nice guy that finished last? Well, I've been accused of being a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can be very nice. I can be very Yeah, mean, yeah you can do whatever no, you got to do. Yeah, I'm, but for the most part, I am a nice guy. Um, what I always say, uh, what's considered a good or nice guy, somebody who got good intentions mm -hmm. um, and actually doing right by, you know, they try to do right by God and, and also their woman, uh, mom, family. So, um, but this particular story, um, it it, it kind of gave me a little bit of inspiration. I, I, I'm divorced over a year now. Wow. But um, after divorce, I just like, uh, which I, I, it was prior to divorce, I knew what I was going to, I was going to write a script, but I didn't know which, because I love all genres, uh, sci-fi, um, horror, like I didn't know what I was going to do f first. So I was just like, everybody like a love story. So I was like, okay, Everybody been divorced. I mean, a lot of people been divorced. A lot of people been married. A lot of people been broken up. A lot of people been cheated on. So I was like, I'm gonna talk about a lot of that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, I was like, I think a good title would be "Nice Guys Finish Last." I've been like, people say, "Man, you you some you too nice, you too nice." And I'm like, you don't know me though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm nice, but I was like, just because I'm genuine and I'm nice, but I'm far from a pushover. So right, right. You, you're not gonna just get over on me. So how long did it take you to write it? Honestly, so I wrote it. So I, I came up with the. I made my mind up that from I, the draft to the finished product because so, you have all of that to go through. All right, I made my mind up that I was going to start my own production company in 2019, probably around November. November, December, I figured out that I wanted to tell a, a, a romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. So um, I was telling some people, I was like, "Hey, I'm, I, I want to start my own company." I want to shoot my own movie, and I want you to be in it. So I was lining people up and telling them what I'm trying to do, what I'm going to do. So you didn't do a casting call. You already knew exactly who would fit this role. Originally. Role. Originally. So we're going to okay. get there. God. <laughs> so God all the time. Before the script was even uh, in the work uh, works, um, I hadn't even uh, found my LLC for my production company yet. But I was telling people this is what I'm going to do. And I was like, I'm coming to you first and telling you because I want you to be a part of it. So like December 2019, um, I was like, okay, I made my mind up. I'm going to do this uh, romantic comedy. And uh, January, I started writing like the mid-January, January 15th of 2020. This is before COVID hit. Right. All of that. So keep in mind, I don't know COVID going to hit anything. So January 15th, started writing it. By mid-February, I had probably like 60 pages. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh man, I've been flying through this. But when I got to 60, I'm like, ah, I, I haven't said everything I need to say, so I gotta come up with some more. So I was like, okay, what's a lot of the stuff that people are talking about and being through and like, how can I make this different? So I knew that I wanted this to kind of be like uh, something that would 
that's similar to The Best Men. That's mm-hmm. one of my favorite mm-hmm. movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I like me some Morris Chestnut. <laughs> do you? you do? <laughs> <laughs> and that's who a lot of people say I favor though. Morris. Those Morris. Um, but I, I, I actually, like say this. I just like the movie. I wish my co-host was here. He think he look like Morris. <laughs> <laughs> my other one, he ain't here right now. But it, everybody tell him that he too. He does not. That's what they say. Everybody tell him Morris <laughs> Chestnut looking nigga. Yeah, these niggas is Morris Chestnut. <laughs> But so, I, but I remember there was a documentary. It's gone. I couldn't find it anymore. But Malcolm D. Lee is a person who wrote and uh, directed that that movie, uh, which is Spike Lee's cousin. Mm-hmm. Um, but he he talked about how a lot of studios passed on the best men um, because they could not understand how educated black people could curse and say the n word. Wow. So I was like, whatever whatever script I do, I'm gonna make sure I curse and say the N word. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, that's dope. And, and you know, a lot of a lot of uh, the controversy too here lately. Uh, we have white writers writing for black, black shows, script. and that movies. ain't good, right there. So I was like, I'm gonna make this as authentically black as possible, and we're gonna curse and say the N word, and we're gonna talk about black stuff wow. on purpose. So. In this movie, we talk about stuff that you you like that that maybe uh, black Twitter would we'll, we'll talk about. Okay. Wow. So stuff like that. So I, I I added a lot of that. But in you there. keep it as realistic as possible. Right. Yeah. Let's, right. Let's get into this trailer. Go ahead. Uh, let's see what we got there. These men I hear ain't no good. Lion, toxic, cheating ass dogs. Sounds yeah. like someone got in that feelings. <laughs> And I'm not hating you, you know you my boy, but you're a successful guy, got a nice job, nice car, nice clothes, and bruh, that attract hoes, period. She said you are a really nice guy. Sometimes too nice. Ah, here we go. Usually when people say that, they assume that you don't get angry and you're a pushover. I am far from a pushover, and I always get angry. Uh, 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 uh. Handle that right now. I'm not gonna talk to him, man. I don't understand how you got so angry. What's my girl like, girl? I be, I wouldn't even be a club job right now. That's your problem, man. All right. I got a problem, but you over here let a hoe put you in a hoe seat. <laughs> Look, man, it's a difference between attracting bad chicks and hoes, man. See, the GAAP formula states that assets equals liabilities plus owners ever. Excuse me, uh, I hate to bother you, but what's your name? Are you following me? <laughs> You do know that's weird, right? <clears throat> no, 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 no. I swear, it's nothing like that. So you mean to tell me the ones that add value are the assets. Exactly. And the ones that don't are the pesky ass liabilities. Tell me again why I couldn't pick you up from your house. Oh, I don't know. You could have been a convict, a murderer. A... Wait, what? Hey, hey, bro, what you doing with my wife? That's my wife. You what the... I'm not perfect. You ain't perfect, and you ain't perfect. Period. Marriage ain't what it used to be. It ain't sacred no more. I mean, when it comes to love and things like that, you know, guys, they get scared. No, uh, you got it wrong. <laughs> well, I would say, when I was a child, I thought and spoke as a child. But now you're a grown ass man, so throw your ass up. You didn't say that, man. Where I like him. What book? I like six or seven, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he opened nobody's mouth. We saw that on TV, too, Jokes. <laughs> is he from Arkansas as well? He's from Atlanta. He's from Atlanta. He's good. She yeah. Cheated. He's good. Yes. Damn. <laughs> These guys really do finish last. Wow, man, that's dope, man. <laughs> yeah. So, so that I wanted to kind of tell a story of a uh, from a black male's perspective. Yeah. I kind of wanted to tell a story from a black male's perspective, something that I could relate to. And then not where we're bashing black men. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, a lot of people always talk about my boy Tyler Perry make us look bad in most of his movies. So. But you have, no, yeah. yeah I, don't be, I, know, I know some people who say yeah, that. There are a lot yeah. of them. I, See, I say that. I yeah, know I'm people the who one. say that. Yeah, he, he always paint a narrative of black men not being good fathers. Yeah. And uh, I don't like that. Yeah, and, that uh, is little girl. He yeah, was a good well, dad. No, yeah, but that was what that far and few between. Right. You know, what right. he write. Majority of the stuff he write kind of degrades our brothers. Good and deeds. That was yeah, a good one. Yeah, well, good See? deeds, but it still had his brother over there acting a fool. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and all I'm saying is. At least he had him present. I like. 
like yeah. Tyler Perry movies, but we do have to have movies where we balance. Yeah. How people need to see fathers doing good things. Y'all don't want us to do good things? Of course. Yeah. Well, you can if you, if this the narrative is being painted. Right. We got some good brothers. This man love his son. This yeah. brother here, he, he not going to run out on his child. So we need to paint those pictures as well. I've been with my kids. Am I doing okay? You're doing a wonderful okay, job. Okay, well, you know, you feel, you feel me, right? Now, yes, let's get sir. back to this movie. I want to talk about Because that trailer was dope, man. Yeah. Uh, I want That made me want to see the movie, like, tomorrow, you know? And, yeah. and I'm going to be real with you. The acting is on point. You guys look so, you look, you don't look broke. I love that fact. You got, yeah, man, come that's on, That's on baby. purpose. So yeah, that's yeah, what I was getting ready to get I at. I love it, man. So, like I said, I wanted to tell a black story, you know, from a black male's perspective, but also show where the guy, guy actually was in the right. You know, most movies, um, the guy was actually cheating or doing, like, in a, some type of inappropriate relationship. Mm -hmm. This guy actually was... Um, trying to do right by his girl he didn't want to be a cheater you know yeah. he wanted to be uh faithful even though he he could have had any girl he wanted yeah he had all the money and and all the things he want um but he was committed to her but as you can see she cheated you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. so and and that's that lets you know too though it's, it's more than just you yeah, know two sides there. sex and money and cars like People still find a reason to do what they want to do. It don't matter. You can have it all. That's right. So um, that's kind of what I wanted to tell, tell with that. And also the image that I wanted to portray was that um, nobody was broke in this movie. You know, we all were successful. We all had good jobs. Mm -hmm. and we were always in suits. Yeah, and that's dope. I like it. That, and that was on purpose. So I'm projecting, projecting that image of black people and black males on purpose. And you did a hell of a job. I so, like that, man. Yeah, like I, I thought said, about that. But then for the person who, I love the movie and everything like that, but for a person who, like, I want to do that. I want to create something like that for to portray black fathers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How hard would it be for a person, say example myself, who have no idea about how to do any of this, but have the passion for it, to get up and say, okay, I'm gonna create my own film, I want my own production company, just like what you did, yeah. and carry out the whole act. How hard is that and where would I have to start? So that's like I was telling him earlier, uh, when I looked at the camera right here, um, it's like, oh, you know, cameras. I was like, well, I, I literally, I didn't know nothing about cameras this time last year. Well, yes, I did, because I purchased my, my Black Magic Pocket Cinema 4K. So I'm talking about, um, baby. get it in then. I purchased that like around May. So I got my stimulus check and I bought that. That's dope. Um, so I was like, I'm going to buy my own camera just in case. I, like I said, I, I plan to shoot it um, last year. But like 2019, I didn't know nothing about nothing as far as cameras and equipment. But... I, I went on YouTube once I made my mind up in like December of 2019 uh, that I was going to shoot my own movie using uh, or try to use my own equipment. So I started doing my research on YouTube and Google. Mm -hmm. What's the best cameras? Um, if you're going to produce a movie, like how do you do it? A lot of times they're going to say you got to use your resources, your friends and family. Just, you may have to ask them to work long hours for free. You know, uh, where if you can get this location for free, do this and that, which I already kind of knew that. I know a lot of people, but um google youtube starts you know you literally say how to produce a movie you know google that and it's gonna and it's be, not that hard i mean that's that's <laughs> i mean so it's a lot of pieces to that so it and is paperwork, hard. getting everything you know written down on paperwork like you got your llc they got to do all of that to make sure they're you know did you have to go to a lawyer to make sure that you had no. All the paperwork? No, no. Well, well, no. you creating your, your LLC. Like, you once you come up with your name, it's yours, you know, doing that part. But um, now you want to get a lawyer as far as contracts when you get ready to get actors. Working with actors. Yeah, with yeah. other yeah. actors. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what I was thinking but, about because I know just create your LLC and have your business, that's fine. But when you're thinking about liability with actors on a certain set or yeah. doing something, yeah, yeah, you, you know, would. you'd want to have some sort of insurance and documentation yeah. and stuff like that. How did you pick, that how did you pick your cast? So, like I said, originally I, I picked, I handpicked people that I want, that I knew that kind of acted and did stuff. But the way God works, none of those people, except for maybe two <laughs> of them, was able to uh, actually do it. So, how did you get this new cast? So, I talked to my mentor, which he's made uh, about four films, um, Kyle T. Miller. Um, Shout out Kyle T. Miller. And he's in baby. Arkansas? He's in Arkansas. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to talk to you one day. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 my mentor. He kind of was like, well, man, I know somebody that can do the casting for you. So he hooked me up with uh, Monica Reed. 
Shout uh, out Monique Reed. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Monique Reed. She uh, she she became my casting director, and she was like, "I got you." So she put together a, a cast of people, and um, she had them do auditions, and she selected the, the, the certain people. But me being who I am, I was like, "Hold on, hold on, hold say, on." You have to hand pick them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like. Because Kyle, he said he don't like that stuff. He like just give it to people and tell them to handle it. But I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is mine. Right. So I was like, okay, I'm actually playing this role. Because she didn't know I was playing. I'm like, I'm actually playing this role. And uh, I was like, I got a person that I already told him that's playing this role and this role. I like it. And then she was like, but you didn't. I'm like, this is my movie. I'm just what I'm doing. That's what you're supposed to and do. And then I was like, okay, where is this person from? And I'm like doing the math. I'm like. Um. So do, who I was like, I, okay, <laughs> I see this person down here is from Arkansas. This person down here is from Arkansas. This I like. They're playing smaller roles, and I was like, I know them too. They're good actors and actresses. So I'm gonna move them up. them up. Wow. To play this role, play this role. So I had to do a numbers game too. So because because um, the further you live, is the more expensive it's gonna be. Exactly. So I had to move some people around, and I had to uh, like I say, I'm like, well, this person playing this role for free, like for me, they doing a favor for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and they're good. These are, like I say, That's dope. You see these? Oh yeah. But it's gonna benefit them yeah. when they do it for free because then once the show blows, they'll get more exposure that way. Well, it's not just that. So the ones who did do it for free, they they got like producer credit and Correct. stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, but like I say, I just knew that they were uh, accountable as well. So I can, I can count on them for anything. Okay. So that as well. And they were good. So I had to kind of work that. We had our little spout back and forth. Cause it's like, I, this is it. I'm like, I yeah, no, appreciate no, that's you. I a promise good, you. No, I no, no, no. This, this is the, what happens in yeah. business and dealing with something that's great. Yeah. You gotta have these back and forth, these yeah. tug of wars to make something develop in a way that's going to be great. Nobody just goes in and it just works out smooth. So yeah. the fact that you did check her about it yeah. and, and talk to her about what your vision is that God gave you, yeah, that's dope. And see, but that wasn't the end of it, though. So she made these selections off of kind of her little short list of people, but yeah. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I kind of wanted to kind of use this as networking or, or marketing as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I was like, we get, we need to get on um, um, Actors Access and, mm -hmm. and put a casting call out there. So she was like, oh, okay, I, I, we can do that. So I was like, if anybody's better than them, we're going to go with them. That's dope. So, How um, do you categorize them as being better? Do you look at film that they've done before and be like, okay, they're or they have audition. to come in? Audition. I, audition. That's what I was about okay. to say. That's what I thought. Yeah, but they're audition. Sure. So we put a casting call out and we had people lined up, lined up, you know, from all over the United States, probably five, six hundred people that auditioned. Mm, that's dope. You no, know, Arkansas. and you they were sitting up. down there watching every audition. I didn't. She did. She just okay. <laughs> she did. So you that's, let her do that. part. Yeah, I let her do that part. That's what I was paying her for. Mm -hmm. So um, after, after all those came back, um, we actually. Uh, decided to go with most of the people that had she had handpicked because wow. they their auditions were better but so yeah, um, you pushed it you pushed the we pushed, pushed it and the word got it, out yeah. around it you know about mm -hmm. it so that was That's the first, marketing yeah yes so that was the first thing that kind of uh put the word out because about you know people are going to look especially the people that you turn down they're going to be waiting to see it to see oh no I they're not did better, I than did better than that yeah. they didn't you know so they're still going to watch it so that's still right. going to be beneficial for you right right and uh so we that's how we came up with the cast right there so i had set a uh goal after you know like they say whenever you decide you put a uh a date on something to kind of make you work towards it so i set a goal of wanting to shoot it by August and then I, I finally uh, reached out to or got a hold of a, a cinematographer or a DP and uh, Live Maze shout out Live Maze who's okay, also shout out Live Maze uh, Live Maze Maze yeah okay. uh, he he also is a recording artist is dope pretty dope um, he shoot music videos what and stuff. genre of music does he do R and B oh rap and R and B Maze yeah okay we got That's to look him up I'm looking for well yeah. he shot the movie with him so I yeah. got to find this kid mm -hmm. so, I'm, uh, I'm gonna need him yes one day I'm gonna get my role <laughs> going man I gotta write my script you out. gotta connect right there well I got to connect and yeah. I got to I got some cameras <laughs> um, we better yeah. get down baby don't even trip man I'm CJ yeah give me a name nice guys I can't go with that one I, I got to come up with my own name <laughs> so how much does a budget like your film cost 
The roundabout seeker. Nah, you don't have to give me. You don't have to give me. It can nah, be they a one because they for a person. Corners, they I know corners. because you said some people. Yeah, you said some people. You didn't pay it. So I, yeah. I, I know all of that, and I'm keeping all of that into consideration. But if somebody, I go right back to a person who would like to do something like this. Yeah. And have it in their mind. Okay, I gotta go get this. I got it. But how much is gonna cost me? So that that's the thing, though. It, it just depends upon you. That's what I always say. It depends upon you and who you know and your resources. So a thing about uh, Hollywood, you never really kind of give your your budget, <laughs> and the ones that do, like it's not they didn't they it's they lie the, yeah, about the budget. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. but but I can it, tell it you, it costs two mil, maybe three mil to get this movie. So on. I, I can tell you that my my um, cinematographer, he and I um, negotiated a, um, a a rate um, for him, but. You you gotta like I say you gotta use your, your 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 smarts and say all right this is what I'm trying to do and I always say like I say you can't I can't put a price on somebody else's that's right work Correct. right that's right so you, I can't really tell you how much it's gonna cost you because you your uncle may do this you do this you mm -hmm. you got cameras you know what I'm saying but they know their own their worth right. so you have you gonna have to negotiate with that but I was able to negotiate it uh, what I was like. He was like, man, I'm going to be real with you. This is the conversation. He was like, people come to me all the time want to shoot stuff. But he was like, what's your budget? And I was like, I'm willing to. what they going to say. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to be real with you, bro. I want to pay this amount. He was like, uh, he was like, you meet me at this amount, we can do it. I like bet. So he probably wasn't expecting me to say, okay, bet. So I was like, what I need to do? And he was like, um, just send your deposit. So I was like, okay, well, send me your information. I'll and send is he deposit. from Arkansas? He's in, from Forest Mill, Arkansas. Okay. So I uh, I hung up the phone, got his information, sent him a thousand dollar deposit, and then we locked in the date. But he was like, he was like, no, nah, I don't think we should do it that soon. He was like, let's do it um, a little bit later in like October. And he was like, that way you've been saved up a lot more money. And he was like, uh, you'll you'll be able to org th organize things a little bit more. So I was like, okay, bet. So I, I appreciate him for that. And I also, that's another thing too. People don't, you know, know I picked up a second job, full time job to help pay for the movie too. So I was working a full time job while working my other job to to kind of save up and, and get some things in order. How long is the film? Hour 20 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, this is a real feature film. Yeah, I, I realize yeah. that. So how, how long yeah. um, How long did it take you to, I, I know you talk about how long it took you to write it. Yeah. But from write it to filming it, to finding people to its finished product. How long is all of that? Because a lot of times we see movies and they yeah. hold back movies well, yes, for years. Guess, it's so about two and a half years. I wrote the script. No, because he just wrote it um, last year, last January. Year. Oh, oh, yeah. that didn't so, take yeah, yeah, so it I wrote it. And, I wrote it and casted everybody and had a uh, trailer come out within a year. That's dope. That's dope. Why do people be holding back? You know, how, well, it's, ooh, it annoys so, me. So that's why. So when I that's another thing. Shout out to Tyler Perry. I I I, uh, I kind of looked at um, um, his last few movies. You know, he talked about how he filmed them in, within a week. Mm. So I was like, because he has his own everything right there. Just exactly. So I was like, I don't have my own, but I I know people that got stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's what that's the approach that I'm gonna take. So I shot my movie in within a week. So is that a reason why people hold back? It's hard to, yes, you got to get the paperwork. You got to have access to certain things. So it's just, and then the funding, like it's just, it's hard as hell to get somebody to uh, invest in an idea. Or maybe sometimes because example, you know how some movies come out and you have part one, part two, part three. Yeah. And then you have part one, part two come out like a year, one behind each other. Yeah. Then all of a sudden part three comes out three years later on. And I'm like. Well, it's a business too though. So you, you got to, all right, so. Just because you were in part two doesn't mean you want to come back and do part three. Because they can't afford you now. You got bigger. Th that or you you already signed up to work on another project. Mm -hmm. So nine times out of ten is usually what it is. They're working. You, their schedule is busy. So they have to work around uh, especially the biggest star schedule. So that's how sometimes you, you have to recast and get somebody else because the other person isn't able to do it. Or they 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 have went up like they're they're doing bigger and better things so um, that's the majority of it. Let me ask you this: even with with because once I do something, I know the strategy. Yeah, um, it should be an easier process the next time. So yes. next time, when me and you do ours, yes, 
Yes. It ain't gonna take us long at all. No. So basically, when we get offline, I tell you, hey man, I need to do this, and we need to know how long it's gonna take, yeah. how much my budget gonna be, what we gonna do together, yeah. we're going in a partnership, you're gonna be like, this is what I can do for this, what it gonna cost. Yeah, yeah. Straight like that. Straight like that. See what and, I'm saying? And because you're a production company, somebody can actually hire you to, to shoot and do their film. Well, I, I actually, so, I'm, I, I'm a, so right now, this is what I'm doing. I am investing in me and my ideas right now. I'm not okay. doing other people's stuff correct, right now. Correct. But so eventually. Eventually I will, but I'm okay. telling the stories that I want to tell, if that okay. makes sense. He's going for his Tyler Perry <laughs> movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not going to stop. Because when Tyler stopped, Perry when he, when retired with a lot of his stuff. So yeah. Yeah. But when he now stopped. Now is a good time to, to take that spot. Yeah. When well, this nigga stop, he's going to be talking to Denzel Washington, somebody. He's not coming back over here. <laughs> I'm telling you now. I'm going to try to lock in with this cat right now. <laughs> he's he going to be dealing with Forrest Whitaker. And, and this is a whole different level. And so I'm not going to be able I'm like, hey, Hey man, you remember me? No, nah, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, uh, it's funny though cuz uh it's been quite a few people that have told me they're proud of me and that this project doesn't look like a first time project. It, it doesn't. doesn't. Not at all. It doesn't at so, all. So um and it's going to move fast. I that's why when that's he told me it's your first time I doing up. it. That night, when I when that morning yes. yeah. I woke up. I said, "Look at this right here." She and loved movies. I wasn't and I wasn't upset that he woke me up because it was for something good. Yeah. So <laughs> I wasn't upset. I was like, you gotta see this. This nigga but, here ain't just no regular cat right here. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't even tell me it was your first time that no. day. Uh -huh. It's I was overheard him saying it to somebody because he was yeah. sh he's showing to everybody. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> nigga, y'all need to see this. I, I got, I'm yeah. friends with this When cat. he told <laughs> that person that, I'm like, no. Yeah. That's his first time? Yeah. 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 You did an amazing job. And, I, and like, I was the lead actor in it, so I was in 99% of the scenes. Tyler Perry. That's the same Denzel old do it, too. No, Denzel does it, too. No, he didn't start off doing it like no, that. No, he didn't start this off. This cat doing it, <laughs> it, it, but he ain't start off in play, so we got C. James going in his own way. He did a play. Yeah. He did no, a play. No, I'm talking about he didn't start off doing start plays off. and going around trying yeah. to budget yeah. like that, mm -mm. so that's not his, his, his story. And playing a female. Would you ever play a female role, no. put on a wig and all no. of that? Right we, we stiff uh, niggas. Like we talked about that one that one time on here. Dave Chappelle that, uh, shook all yeah. us up about that. Yeah. We don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and uh, it is not to knock knock anybody. Jamie Fox. Um, that's J uh, Martin Wanda. Martin, Wanda. Yeah, yeah. But Kevin see, Hart. It's so. Yeah, he done it. And when you look at it, and you take it, yeah, when you look at it too, and you take, let's just say you take the. Um, the art serious, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And you're 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 a, you're a professional actor, and you're into it. You drama and acting, you take it serious. Like you're playing a character. It's not. So it's not. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I get so it. So I see that side as a as an actor. But you but personally wouldn't do it. No, because I I know me. It'll be hard for me to be even taken serious. Um, if I were to do that, like I can't even get into character, if that makes sense. Okay. I wouldn't sense. put myself in a position to do something that I can't do. Okay, so um, uh -huh. you're doing a romantic scene right now. Yes. So what is your acting range? Can you do, you'll do horror action, um, romance, you'll do comedy. What genre of film would you not or cannot do at this moment? It ain't nothing I can't do. Okay, I just wanted to uh, see. Just things that he won't do. Or yeah. that you, that other, than, do. other than what you just listed, yeah. is there anything else you would not do? I mean, um, you mean as far as playing a certain role? Mm -hmm. um, or a that, certain genre. Of, certain genre. Mm -hmm. um, some people are just strictly yeah. comedians. Yeah, like in how they act. No, Some I, people you cannot take them serious playing. I can see you acting an action road. road. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. So this is like no, I'm talking about stand up. Like you going on on the stage. As, and, can you do and action? I, you can do that. No, I'm trying to get this out of here now, yeah. Steph. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can see you going on the stage acting like Kevin Hart or somebody. So in the in the trailer, you you probably couldn't tell. Mm -mm. Um, when I was speaking in the, the green, and, and if you go back and watch it, you'll hear my voice. I was actually doing my imitation of uh, Barack Obama. Okay. Um, I so I do, I do some pretty good imitations of some people. people. I want to hear it right now. On the spot. On, On the, the spot. spot. Uh, Miss Jamaica. <laughs> 
That I, was I, good. That I want to hear the rest. I, I want to hear the rest. I heard this. That was, that was dope, man. Uh, I I'd like for you to uh, come down to uh, the White House and meet uh, Michelle. That's dope. I hear it. I hear no, that's dope. It. I hear it. Y'all yeah, have to be able to do that actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to be able to do it. Just like it's so crazy because, like, example, Idris Elba. Yeah. I did not know that he was had originally having a London yeah, accent. Yeah, that British accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know yeah. that till I was watching him on an interview. Yeah. Because most of his movies are. He has it. Yeah. yeah. An American He's accent. He's not the only one either, though. It's. A, it's I know it's, it's a, a lot of them, them from yeah. England. Yeah. That I did not know that unless you do any research. But yeah. when you see them in movies, they, they sound like it's a regular American person. Yeah. It trips me out. Throw the accent off. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. I, I definitely know that, you know, I'm going to have to get my stuff together. If you acting like Obama, I got to come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm, well, maybe I'm going I'm going for... What other impersonations can you do? I'm going for the Jamie Foxx. Uh, I, can do, I can do Cat Williams. I can do... Uh, let me see. She didn't put me on the spot. Um, I can do some Elmo. I can do. <laughs> it's a few of them I can do. Uh, I, I I can't even. You just put me on the spot, but oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I just love the fact that you you, <laughs> <laughs> you went out so, on yeah. Cat Williams. Yes, yes, player. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Also, I was asking you yeah. earlier about action. Do you do you think you can do action? Yes, roles? yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Do all sure. your stunts and tumbling yes. and running after. I people. have stunt training. Yes, you yes. have stunt. Yeah. So you did you? When did you do the stunt training? Uh, twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. How long did it take? Um, I've I've my first movie I did some stunts. You actually. Play football. This nigga <laughs> yeah, know I how play to move football, and so. hit and get under ropes. That's what we did yeah, out my, there. My first movie, I think we I, we fell through a table and did all that type of stuff. So I, yeah. I took some training. Um, I went to a, I, like I take classes and stuff too. So um, I went to some stunt uh, training classes and uh, they taught us how to fall and how to um, telegraph and hurt. punches and stuff like that. Um, you know, a lot of times in the movies, you want to go punch as fast as you can, but slow it, like, try to stop right before you get to the person. But you How can't many go times do you do that and end up punching the person for real? <laughs> and that happens a lot. <laughs> a lot. I can imagine. A lot. But that's why a lot of times they just say, hit me. Because mm-hmm. yeah. reaction gonna be real. Mm-hmm. You yeah. just can't. You, you got to do it in a couple takes. Though. But it's a dangerous. Yeah. It's a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous yeah. um, career being a stunt double, yeah. or even some actors say, "I don't want a stunt double. I'm going to do this on my own." Yeah. Because there have been actors in the past who've died. Yes. In roles like um, Bruce Lee's son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He did as well, but they had stunts like crazy stunts. Yeah. But um, I definitely. Uh, I definitely see myself doing like action movies. This this next uh, script that I'm about to work on is gonna have some some action Max, stuff. In do it. you think? Do you you feel like uh, C. James is uh, the full package? Huh? You feel like you you can do action, you can do horror, yes, you can do it all. Yes, and like I, that's why I said I didn't You'll know. Try it any damn way. Yeah, oh, it ain't nothing you can't do. <laughs> you know, you gotta put your mind to it. But like I said, I didn't know what. Movie I was gonna do first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, I, like I said, I liked all jump. Uh, it jump. made sense doing yeah. this first though, because you appeal to more people doing this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I can't wait till you bring the premiere to Dallas. Yeah. I, I, I hope that happens. Yes. And I specifically got an all black cast in here on purpose. So. And, and, and no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no. You're awesome. doing it right, yeah. and um, and we're in a different time, and it's time for you to walk through the door. You know, we yeah. we something new is needed right now. You know, for 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 this whole new movement with the That's digital true. movement the way it is, the right. way social media waves is right now. We hadn't had that new guy to come through the door anyway. Right? Am I right? You're right. So that new guy needs to come through the door now. Uh, we had Tyler Perry who started out in plays and we had Denzel when, on the older, uh, you know, when they first started letting brothers get in the movies and, yeah. and, and, and hell, Flip Wilson and all the rest of them boys, yeah. Sam and Davis Jr. Now I see James Sr. time to come through that door. Yes. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? You know, and I like that. I just like the fact that you, you, you're a boss. You put up your own money. Yeah. You, you got into the whole process. You didn't try to pl- pay and delegate everything out in a way to where you didn't stay close niche. Right. I'm loving that, man. Yeah. And and I definitely know that some other brother going to see this. And he's been inspired to do a movie, but he don't, he don't know how. Oh, man, I've had 
that's one of my, my buddies, uh, Rich Johnson. He was like, bro, you have inspired me. He said, yeah. if, I, mm-hmm. if I do anything, I'm gonna make sure I shout you out because you just lit a flame in me. He was like, I'm, I, he said, I just created my LLC for my production company Dope. like this week. So he was like, like, it's been a few people that was like, man, you got me. I'm, it, I it, wanna write a script and do a movie, it. so. I mean, we was in Vegas and I was at different places where youngsters were carrying the cameras around. Yeah. And I remember it was Michelin guy from Michelin S or, or what was that clothing brand that gave us some hoodies? I can't remember. You remember when we was over mm-hmm. there? He kept seeing me. Second year he seen me, he was like, man, E, you need to do a movie, man. Stop just doing the the following round, like like just doing the back scenes, you know, the BTS behind yeah. the scenes of what's going on with the shows, man. You got all this cr- camera equipment. Mm-hmm. He like, man, you need to go ahead and use it and just do a movie. He was excited about a movie. He yeah. just felt like I could do it. I never got into it like that, but I'm pretty sure I could figure it out. Yeah. I, I know I could figure it yeah. out. You know, ain't, the best ain't movies, nothing I can't figure out. Honestly, you know what the best movies to me? Because I love, I love romance. I love action. Yeah. Action is my I you love, know, number I one. I love those too. But true stories. Yes. Finding true stories. I told you, my first script I wrote on my coach. Right, on your coach. But yep, true stories. Finding more of that because, or but you had to find like really amazing stories, you know, that can mm-hmm. touch people's life and stuff like that. Um, can we find that one? On that, the, yeah, on yeah, the documentary. You said the it's on your website. The documentary is on Tell my website. Tell us your website again. IntoTheSunsetProductions.com. Okay, and because. Can, go ahead. Because I think that um, even just to know that somebody actually went through that. When yes. you're watching these movies, you're like, that's for real. Yeah. But how much of true stories are really true stories when you really watch them on TV? So that's the, that you, you're right. They, they have to Hollywood a lot of stuff. Exactly. So um, when, when I wrote this one, I tried to keep it as much as um, authentic as I could. Um, but, you know, you got to make it. Is Hollywood. that why they say based on a true story? Is because they know it's not 100 yeah. percent true story. Yeah. That's or dope. you can say inspired by a true story. Inspired by a true story. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but this, I tried to keep it as um, as authentic as I could. But the main thing was to try to kind of tell the story. So, how, how would we be able to identify with your movie? Like, as far as the symbol, the logo, something. You know what I mean? Okay. So, like, um, quite honestly, believe it or not, a lot of the backbone to this uh, this story is is biblical. Okay. Um, I heard a couple of squ- um, scriptures. Yeah, that was on purpose. Okay, so, okay. Uh, like you say, the guy, uh, think like a man, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, um, also, in one scene, once you see it, uh, we talk about the, uh, um, the definition of love. What mm-hmm. is love? You mm-hmm. know, love is patient, love is kind, and does not, you know. Yeah, all first that. So we, we, quote, we quote the Bible a few times in this movie. Okay, so, that's dope. Um, and... and uh, that's that's I'm trying to get people to you know look and reflect on what 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 does this character do? Now wait a minute. Mm-hmm. You said you say the word the name nigga. Yep. And what else? You N- curse. You curse. Yeah. And you get to do some scriptures. Yep. Now that's the way life really is. Exactly. And that's <laughs> that's literally why my my mentor he said that's why this movie is 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 gonna gonna uh, do that's good. Exactly. Because that's is. realistic. But that's mm-hmm. boss talk one hundred one. Everybody knows people that Did are you like that. I, I heard what you that's said. That's boss talk one hundred one. That's so, exactly what you're doing. So that character that you were just talking, you, saw, you heard him quote the Bible, mm-hmm. but he the craziest one. That, mm-hmm. And that's how. Yeah, but that's, that's life. That's, that's and that we all life. know people like that, and that's, that's exactly right. what he said. But uh, it's it, it dope that you you would be real like that. Yeah. Most people trying to script it in a way that they can perfect it in a way to where it don't show certain flaws, and 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 we got to stop yeah. doing that. But I can't understand why because people like realistic. People like just like in music when you have musicians come on here mm-hmm. and they're you know so well so called some of them are rapping around or singing about their life, their heartbreak, and whatever. Mm-hmm. And somebody else because there's not one person in this world that's going through the same. I mean, they're the only ones going through that thing. There's right. always somebody else going through or went through something that you're going right. through at this current moment. Right. So when you're doing this film and the things that you're putting in this film, people are going to relate to it right. and be like, oh yeah, I've been that person or I went through that or yeah. I'm going through that right now. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Uh, will we get another trailer before it comes out or is it too late? You know, sometimes nah, they'll throw you a trailer right yeah. at the end. Stop playing. I mean, I, nah. Because you got don't, the capability. Don't. I could. don't. No, I'm not. I, why? No, the reason why, because. Right up on the first, the, the right. My the day daughter and I are out. the same way where 
We'll watch trailers. I hate when I watch trailers, and by the time I go watch a movie, I'm like, I already know everything that's going to happen in the movie. Yeah. It's I so get predictable. It. I get like told too much. It's told yeah. too much. Yeah, because I don't like, I, give me some things that Can I never I expected. Live? Yeah. Okay. That I never yeah. expected. You know, we watched a movie last night. Um, that was night before last, wasn't it? Was it night before last? Yeah, well, night I didn't before last. Yeah. It with y'all, y'all and what was the name of the movie that we watched? I didn't want to watch Shamaria, it. Shamaria, what was the name of the movie? <laughs> The one we watched together. She was excited about it. The kids. Cruella. Ah, uh, I heard and the movie was dark. It, no, it was really good. It was really good. The reason why we said it was really good is the fact that things happen in that movie that we were like, <gasps> no, that just happened. It. Like, really? Yeah. We love movies like that where you see one thing on the trailer. Yeah. But when you watch the movie, you're like, I didn't know that was coming. And that's rare for us. Yeah. Because a lot of movies are very predictable to us. We're like, oh, I already and that I made happen. this one to not I, be as predictable. Already, let's as well. see how not predictable this is going to be okay. when we watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we, we are, we we think that. we're professionals where that is concerned. Okay. I'll be watching it. I'm going uh, as soon as it comes. We'll be at the premiere though when you come to Dallas. When is it, it going to be a here. formal premiere, um, premiere where we have to dress up? Yes. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah. Say, okay. I ain't got no problem with that. We yeah. stepping. We steppers. That's how. That's how. That's how the other one. Is. I don't know if you've seen the flyer for it, but. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I did. Okay, I not send you the flyer. No, yeah. but my uh, um, the next thing I'd like to know is where would we or anybody else if they did come to the premiere, where would they be able to find this sh movie? Yeah, okay. where, yeah, that's that's a good question. So, um, my whole approach uh, to this this actual uh, film thing was uh, the Master P Tyler Perry approach: owning your own product, right? You know, not not selling it and just owning it. So right now, the way the, the industry is set up, um, I don't have any big name stars in the movie right now. Um, usually you have to have a, a big name star to get distribution, okay. you know? So Netflix, Hulu, whoever, BET, um, they won't even look at you unless you have a big star or you have a big name. I'm not worried about that though, because the guy got me, so okay. I had a plan for that like I say my whole approach is I'm gonna own it so I was like the way I'm gonna go about this I'm gonna go so hard and push it that by the time they're gonna request you to put exactly. it on their platform right but right. okay an observation we've so been making looks good man yeah Appreciate it. an observation we've been making recently and um and this has to do with television uh-huh and um, cause we know it's a lot of people are starting their own television series on TV and yeah. this different stuff when back in the days it was only big people, big, you know, right. but now it's smaller people That's are able to get on these shows. Uh -huh. Do you know the reason why? Because we have our own assumptions, but do you know? Um, Like smaller people, what do you mean? Like like when you say smaller people, just, I'll say like really reality TV and uh, a lot of different people that we, you know, they getting opportunities in certain cities that wouldn't normally, they, they're getting the, oh. you see so what like I'm example, saying? Well, you start your production company, you can go, well, start it's something just, on TV right now. As of right now, I w the reason why is because um, it's just so many avenues for content. And That's it's right. And That's it's exactly needed. what I was thinking. And there, That's what we were really pretty much Yeah, it, it's just needed. Like, y you can't, you have to meet some people where they are. You know, um, some everybody that's big can't be everywhere. Right, because so, that's what it used to be before. It was like big producers. Yeah. You had, you've been in there. the business for years. You just came up with new television yeah. series and you just put it on. It wasn't no person who's just starting out right. or small. That's what I call small. Somebody who's just starting out in yeah. that business that can just get on television just like that. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just it's just so many avenues for content that's needed. That's, that's the reason why, because you can, you don't, my, honestly, my original plan was to not even like, I'm not, I wasn't messed up about getting into theaters or on Netflix. Like I was like, I'm gonna just uh, could, drop this movie on you, Facebook. You, you, you could drop it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no. Or you YouTube. Could, or you could yeah, drop YouTube. it on uh, um, YouTube and have charge rates for yeah. it. Remember, what, like mm -hmm. me and Big D Mogul was yeah. talking about. You can you can close doors and open doors on YouTube and exactly. Facebook and make it to where it goes to the people and you get a you know you get. Yeah, your, your because tomato. you got to think about this. You people watch movies on because I watch yeah. movies on YouTube quicker than I watch it on almost anything else because yeah. you have your phone mm -hmm. with you. Even sometimes quicker than I watch it on Netflix. Yeah, and um, YouTube, yes, they pay you, but and they pay you on like watch time, but 
how many people are going to sit down and watch a full length movie? We all are going to sit down and watch a full length movie rather than when you have like a tutorial or you have somebody talking, yeah. they'll go skip, skip. Okay, let me get to this part. Okay, now end. Yeah. You know, but when you're watching a movie, you're gonna watch the whole thing. No right. matter if it's an hour and a half or whatever, you're yeah. gonna sit down, make the time. I'm gonna watch this movie. Yeah. So you're gonna make your money on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Might not be as much as you'd make it on some other platforms, but you're gonna make some money. And then I don't know if people realize that um Red Table Talk with Will and Jada, right? Yeah. And they're only on Facebook. Only on Facebook. And uh, I think it's Ball in the Family. That's only on I Facebook. I haven't seen that one. Uh, that's Lonzo Ball and oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, They're yeah. only on Facebook. Yeah. So I remember when you decided to go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like it's it's they must be paying them good. When I sit down and think about that, I'm like think only that. on oh, Facebook. Mark only on Facebook, man. They got billions of dollars. So that I was like, I'm trying to get like them, you know. But uh, nobody does movies only on Facebook. That's what I was on. That's what I was on. So but was, you have to be producing it, like, yeah, back to back. Yeah, but so I, the only thing is, I, I would. I was trying to figure out how to way, how to monetize it, you know, instead of just putting it out there for free and then building up followers and mm, then trying right. to make money off ads YouTube and stuff like that. I think YouTube is the best way to go. Yeah, but no, so I got a plan though. It's so that's another thing too. Like I say, God works in mysterious ways. I was thinking that it was small, right? Mm -hmm. It kept kept growing bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. There's been three people reached out reach out to me about distribution. Whoa, mm. that's dope. And this this is before they even seen the trailer. Wow. Really? How did they? The poster. Oh. You saw the poster? No, because he no. hasn't showed it to me. Let me show the poster for they you. They saw the movie poster <laughs> in the title. Wow. So it's a guy, he's, he's like, I saw this movie poster mm -hmm. in the title. He said that. Um, so this after they see the trailer, they're going to go crazy. Yeah, well, he said, once I saw the poster in the, uh, the title, he was like, this doesn't look like a, a low budget movie just based off the poster. It looked like they put money behind it. So. That's exactly just what off what the he, poster. Just you can tell poster. that I can know off of a movie, but not off of a poster. poster. So yeah, that's another thing too. So I wanted to make sure that my, you know, y'all see them movie posters. I'm like, ah, oh, this is a low budget movie. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I did not have that look. See, you know, see, he can't watch anything like that. I'll watch yeah. whatever. I don't care. I can't watch it. It didn't look like it's like I had my cousin do the. Uh, oh okay, that's that's a cool post. I like that. So I feel like with the and it's different. If, I it's, like that. if you see that up beside trolls or whatever, you'll stop and say, What is this? Yeah, you know, nice, it'll stand that's out. It's a nice poster. You yeah. put a lot into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm definitely I'm definitely loving the fact that you independent. Yeah. And that you got a place where, you know, when we first started this, we had people to come and try to be a part of how we put out our stuff. And yeah. everybody always try to be a part of it after they see the process has started. Mm -hmm. But I like the fact that you're independent. You, you, you're, you're, you're making sure that you, this is your baby. Yes. And you're not just going to let everybody be holding and kissing. I don't know where they mouth being. Right. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> right. Don't exactly. touch my child. She's only a month. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're doing it right. Mm -hmm. and I like it, man. Love. I actually lo like it a lot. Um, so just like he mentioned earlier, um, had a great idea talking about um, portraying fathers in a yes. good light. Would that be something that you would be That's, maybe that was where I was going to would write out. something about That's what I was and create a movie about? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. What yeah. I was, that's what oh, I was oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so but, uh, yeah. okay, cut that out. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so this is what I was getting to. Like, like I say, it's I like been, that. Since I I've done this, there's been several people reaching out to me. Like, I want to do a movie. I want to do a movie. I want to do a movie. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, chill out right now. I'm doing what I want to do. I work for me right now. But I was like, so you, I was like, I got a, I got a real good friend. He wants to do a movie. So I was telling him, I was like, look, I could do it. But I was like, now my cousin also pointed out. He was like, man, there's people that's been in Hollywood their whole lives, right? is like big name people. None of them have written, produced, and starred in their own movie. First, he like first of all, none of them. Uh, a lot of them haven't written the script. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we got to get the script written. You can't. That's exactly you, right. You know, I heard you when you said it yeah, when we first started. We got to get the script. Sixty right. pages. No, it was so that was that was what, that I wrote. You started. The, with 60 pages, but how many pages did you end up with? You That's never did a, yeah, say. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't get to that. Yeah. So I didn't finish writing the script until like June. And my and my computer went out uh, for like a month and a half. So okay. 
it was uh it ended up being like 130 pages so oh so you doubled that with a little yeah. bit more okay so yeah so they, now i know how many pages we need so usually they say that's the, like i said i did my research so usually they say it's about a minute per page oh, so okay. an hour and a half movie is about 120 pages how many drafts did you have to do before you got to the um like did you have to like you know how when you watch a movie they about, wrinkle it up and throw it in the trash oh no that's that sucks no i it. don't i don't i so I'm I'm new school. I get on a laptop and and yeah, type. Of course. And if I want to change something, I can go back and that's right. And, okay. and do that. So that, that's on purpose because that prevents me from having to throw stuff away and starting <laughs> over. So I, I just go in and, and, I think and that's type. A, so yeah. I think that's where we're at now. Yeah. All that yeah. other stuff you watch that on a movie, let it go. Yeah. But it can happen where just like his computer was went down. Yeah. If you had that, you know, yeah. paper writing. You got time machine backing the software, all that up. Man. Yeah, the software backs it up. That's though. right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't playing no games. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I did buy the software, final draft. Like I say, after doing my I research. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. I, heard well, that. I definitely want to say that when when the closer the movie, uh, the anticipation comes to when you do the premiere, even if it's in Arkansas, yeah, I can come down there too. Okay. You know what I mean? As long as you invite us yeah. and give us an advance notice, we can come down. Okay. Um, You're not I, that far I, of a drive. No, I'd it? like to. Nah, I'd that's like five to, hours. Yeah, oh, yeah and I, I remember it. I took you down through there. Yeah. You didn't know where you were going. He was I took her down to, me- down to Memphis. So, uh, yeah. We had to go through. We had to come Arkansas. through 30, 40, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about it. I used to come down there a lot. Like uh, yeah. Just, yeah, I'm a hustler, so. Yeah. I come through it. I, I will come to that. What y'all know about Little Rock, though? Little Rock, I know y'all got a Benny Hunters right there. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. And I know you both think y'all gangbangers. <laughs> My son now. wants to <laughs> go. You know what I'm talking about? My yeah. son wants to go because it, don't y'all have like a hot spring or something yeah, like that that's, out there? Yeah, that's a little further down. Yeah. Hot spring yes. is National Park. Where yeah. you can go and, you know, that um, spring water. And, yeah. Yeah, because he was asking me about that the other day. And I was like, well, you got to go to Arkansas for that. He's like, okay, when we going? Yeah. And I just want to say thank you, man, for coming up, man, like you did coming up and, and, and coming for Boss Talk and checking us out, man, and we're going to push this out there, but I appreciate you for coming up and uh, no sharing this time with exactly. us, and I, I want to do the same. I want to, if it's not in Dallas, like I said, I can come to the premiere down there and in Dallas because yeah. I'm dope like that. I can do what I want to do. I'm independent. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So and how you like our platform? Oh, that's dude. dope. That's dope. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, it. Like yeah, I say, different. once I saw that, oh, he ain't playing. Oh, man. And you I checked out mind. a couple of our videos before? Yes, I did. And yeah. how, what I did. did you think? I was like, okay, he asked a good question. <laughs> He's a fool, too. <laughs> <laughs> he is See, we love to know what yeah. everybody's she opinion. Me, man. Yeah. Like, I, I don't. I shoot from the hip. Yeah, she he's the star of the show. Ro- he's you the think star. so? I he's think the you're the star. But no, I think we both got show. our own ways, man. And I think mine more. I've been like this, so I'm not acting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm really just being me. Star. So everybody else is. Throat. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else, everybody else, I think be you know trying to stay in composure or whatever. I'm just being me, so it's easy. I can sit here and you can sit anybody there, and yeah. I'm gonna have a good time because in my mind, it's about what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ain't nothing wrong with that. It's kind of throat though, like yeah. y'all said. But I definitely appreciate you for coming on the show, brother. Exactly. No problem. And um. I sure hate you didn't get to go to Touch and Skin. I was mad about that. Oh, man. When you my, told me that, so, we're going to see him tonight. It was crazy yesterday. Flights was like crazy. Was I, I was like, man, I could have drove. But wow. Yeah, flights was crazy. Yeah, delayed. delayed. I had delayed, him set delayed, up delayed, too. delayed, 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 delayed. Like, yeah, you could have drove. Yeah, I could have drove. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was like, wow. But it's all good, man. God knows what he's doing. He does. There's nothing that he, he does. And when you leaving? Sunday. Sunday. When, when you come back, when you come back, because we got a good relationship mm-hmm. with people. Yeah. And you're going to get to meet them tonight. Yeah. At the yeah. gala, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we're going out there tonight. And Did you send him the flyer for it? I didn't send him the flyer, it. but you, you got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we, we're going to go down there and have a good time, man, and, and try to enjoy the rest of the evening, huh? Yeah. Yes. So I got to go home and get ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, man, C. James, man, we appreciate you, C. James Ju- Senior. Senior. He got yeah. a junior. junior. C. James yeah. Senior. It throwed me because he became senior after the son was born. My daddy never say senior. Hell, he just said his name. Right. <laughs> I'm the original. <laughs> That's all it is. It, and I'm everybody s- called you junior. Yeah, junior. I got to be junior the whole time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but definitely, man, we appreciate you, man. We love you, brother. We wish appreciate you much it. success. If there's anything we can do in Dallas here yeah. to help with anything, if, I mean, hey, I'll try to do whatever. You yeah. may need a scene down here. You mm-hmm. know, I deal with the city a lot. We may yeah. have we'll to permit some stuff. Yeah. We can stand well, in. Well, I can stand in and I can act a little bit too, I think. Oh, well, you've been acting the fool the whole time, so. <laughs> God bless you, man. Let me shut this down, man. Right. This has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we have.